Welcome back to Real Repairs for Real Customers. We've recently attended a seminar where we've met up with some old friends and made some new friends. We answered some good questions and we did not have answers for other repair scenarios so now we know we have our work cut out for us this year. In the week since I've been privileged to work here with Seth We've had a very productive and enjoyable week, I think. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. And this morning, Seth and I have been discussing carpet repair. Now, for the mobile tech, we think about fixing small burns in carpets. Uh, or uh, maybe we would think about replacing the entire carpet. But more often than not, I find that there is something right in between that's even easier for the mobile tech to address. And yet, I don't hear any mobile techs talking about it. So I thought you might be interested in seeing what that involves. I call it carpet over. And we can do just individual sections of a carpet. If you would like to see how that works, you might like to come along with us today. I'm about ready to go. How about you, Seth? Let's go to work. Hidden underneath this floor mat is a threadbare carpet, but only in the driver's side. So we are going to carpet over just the driver's side. This clip is already falling off, so let's just remove this one. Our objective is to put carpet over this area and tuck it underneath the trim and underneath the front seat. So we'll remove the two bolts holding the front seat in place. And since the threshold trim removes so easily, I usually like to remove that. But that's the only trim I'm taking off. This is the carpet that I use. It comes 80 inches wide. You can order by the yard off the 80 inch wide roll. Get a rough measurement first. Take the time to place the carpet exactly where you want it because we'll be gluing it down right there. You can do another rough trim here, making sure to leave enough margin to tuck up and underneath the trim pieces. So now we'll fold back half the carpet 
and spray our glue in on the top of the factory carpet and on the back side of our new carpet. This is a contact cement. So we will allow a few minutes, maybe five minutes, depending on the temperature, before we put the two back together. By the way, I'm using 3M High Strength 90 Aerosol Adhesive. I am famously getting in the way of the camera, which is my biggest problem filming these repairs. Now we can start by pressing the carpet down in the middle and out towards the sides. Now I'm getting ready the portion that goes under the seat. I just tilt the seat back a little bit and then the carpet goes right up and underneath the feet. And now the seat anchors back down. Of course the holes line up because we haven't moved it. Now we're just doing a little final trim and tuck. Well, we're at the last little bit. I wanted to show you this part because when you fold a carpet back and you spray the back side of it, you may get some adhesive on the front side. And as upholstery shops know, that is not a problem at all. We just come back with some slow drying solvent. In this case, I'm using some xylene and a rag and all the adhesive just comes off really easily. So if you accidentally get adhesive on the face of the carpet or on any of the trim panels, don't worry, just motor right along and, and clean up that excess adhesive later. 
So you can see the real advantage of a carpet over. We haven't had to remove anything really. We haven't had to remove the center console, which would be necessary if you were replacing the whole carpet. And that's a bonus. This is a Mustang. We'd also like to show you a little bit of uh, carpet over in the rear floor of a Lexus. And you can see how that once you remove the bolts holding the seat, the seat will tilt forward and that will allow you to tuck the carpet under with no problem. Here's the final result, all trimmed, and you can see where the carpet goes up under the seat about halfway. The same as a lot of new installations. In the Lexus, the clips that hold the floor mats are removable, and you can see here how they reinstall, just making sure that you've run a hole through your new carpet over. The cargo area in this Range Rover is another good candidate for the carpet over. Where the pieces butt together, I am actually removing some of the original carpet so it's not built up too thick on the edges. Where I've had to cut this carpet, it stretches plenty so that I can wrap it around.
As you notice, the carpet color was off a little bit, even though it looked good in the sample, so I just put a light mist coat of color just to help blend it in with the factory look. I thought I would throw in some pictures of a job I had done on a Suburban in exchange for the lower price option, the customer agreed to pull the seats for me. Since the carpet comes 80 inches wide, it's good to know that you can do the full width of this Suburban, including up over the wheel wells. So I hope these demonstrations have helped you to see that doing a carpet over would be much less labor intensive than replacing the factory carpet. And for the mobile technician, a very doable option.